Hey guys, this is Emma, so today's Monday on Secret Circus, because that's my day. This week we're coming at you with another theme week, and the theme is art. Um, I'm the one who suggested this, which is weird, because I'm not really an art person, but we're going to do this anyways. So I've basically been exposed to art, like, aside from like the traditional like art class thing, I've been, uh, I've been exposed to art two different times what I consider real art. So I visited the Musée des Beaux-Arts in Montreal, the Museum of Fine Arts, and I also think I visited the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, I'm like 99% sure. Um, the Musée des Beaux-Arts was pretty cool. We got to see some impressionist painters. I think it was Monet, but it might have been Monet. Uh, some, some one of those. The guy who painted the water lilies. Oh, was that Van Gogh? That might have been Van Gogh. So, saw that, um, but I also saw my favoritest portrait ever because it's so pretty and it's got a bunch of leaves and it's called October um, some year. I forget the year. I'll put it right here. Uh, October by James Tissot. was a French portraitist and I just like it very much and it's this widow in this like field of pretty leaves and she's looking back kind of coyly and he totally had a thing for this widow because he painted her like literally all the time so I thought that was interesting um, but I think I might have liked the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston better just because they had a lot of cool like Roman type stuff and like Egyptian stuff. They had a lot of like archaeology type stuff, which I found really, really interesting. And that's also why I kind of flirted with the idea of being a curator at one point. I might still do that. I don't even know what I'm doing in design life. We're going to pretend that I know. Um, so that was, I really like the Museum of Fine Arts in, I, I really like the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston and I like the Museum of Fine Arts in Montreal. But I'm also really into like, I guess you could call it more alternative art type stuff, like graffiti, I find really interesting. I also find, like, random installation art cool. Like, I had this idea of doing this really creepy project um, because I know how to make, like, casts of people out of uh, saran wrap and uh, packing tape that are, like, clear casts of people. You can also coat them with paint on the inside. Um, so I had the idea of just doing a bunch of these. And hang on, my roommate's here. Sorry guys, my roommate just came in. Uh, so I was talking about installation art and how I have this idea of making these really creepy slash weird um, casts of people using saran wrap and packing tape. And I kind of wanted to just like leave them around places. Um, and dye them pretty, paint them pretty colors on the inside and just see how people react to them. I thought it'd be pretty funny, but apparently uh, Grace was not into the idea, so I nixed that because I needed someone to wrap up in packing tape, and Grace is clearly the only person that I would be able to convince to do that. So like, yeah, I'm really into like installation art or just like art that they put in like parks and stuff, like in uh back home in city hall park where they put all of the uh all of the art i I'm, I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff so that's more of the art that i'm into rather than like traditional art um so yeah that's all i really have to say about art i'm a boring person i don't really like visual art i'm more of a book person but i'm sure we'll talk about books at some point Alright, hope you guys are having a good week. Alyssa, good luck with your first week of classes. Uh, ben, good luck with your weird week that you don't have anything to do before you start classes. So, have fun with that. Uh, I will see you guys later. Bye!